On January the 15th of 2015, the BC government approved a five-year program to cull wolves because they are blamed for killing the nearly extinct caribou. Lori McConnell is with Pacific Wild and says the province has extended the cull for another five years, despite not enough evidence that it has made much of a difference in saving the caribou. We're not limited to five years. They anticipate this is going to happen for decades because the plan is to restore habitat, but in the southern mountain, uh, the deep snow caribou, that requires lichens that grow in very s small remaining, remaining amounts of forest that support, you know, 150-year-old trees that carry the lichen that the caribou need. They don't have anywhere to go anymore that isn't fragmented by oil and gas seismic lines, um, mining permits, logging, and in the southeastern part of BC, snowmobile routes. So far, over 1,400 wolves have been killed in what McConnell says is a barbaric practice. They find a, a wolf in key caribou territory and they dart it and put a collar on it. It's, we refer to it as a Judas collar uh, because they follow the radio telemetry of that wolf back to its pack and then eradicate the pack from the air, which is inhumane. And it is not leading to the outcomes of caribou recovery. Cookby Judy Wilson of the Union of BC Indian Chiefs says they just passed a resolution calling for the immediate end to the killing of wolves. Hunting of the wolves, the clubbing of them, and the inhumane acts are, are not within our keeping of our laws as Indigenous people. So there has to be a, a better approach and. I, I know there will be more consultation, but just to renew the five-year uh, wolf culling program that, you know, we'll see more slaughter isn't really the answer. The province did not respond to our request for an interview by the time this story went to air. So far, 526,000 people have signed a petition to stop the killing of wolves. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.